I really want to get you guys caught up on these RFD TV segments because the news anchors are asking excellent questions which I think provide excellent supplemental information to my regular episodes. In this segment, for example, we're going to be talking about fertilizing and flooding the rice fields. So let's jump straight into the introduction of the segment. Good afternoon and thanks for watching Market Day Report. I'm Christina Loren. Rice Farming TV is hosted by Matthew Sligar and features a mix of fun and educational stories about agriculture, all from Matthew's operation in Butte County, California. Planting a crop of rice in California takes a lot of work. Contrary to one's first thought, it's not the actual seeding that's so demanding, it's preparing the ground for the seed. Rice Farming TV's Matthew Sligar explains. In this episode, I want to give you guys a crash course in the work that's involved in planting rice fields here in California. And now the segment will continue with episode 27 of Rice Farming TV titled, How to Plant Rice in California, Breaking Ground. I'll leave the link to that full episode down in the description. Otherwise, let's take a look at the live interview. And here to answer all of our rice questions is host of Rice Farming TV, Matt Sligar. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. And you mentioned in your vignette that we just watched that preparing the ground is one of the hardest parts of planting rice. And when you showed the actual steps, I saw fertilizer was at the bottom of those steps. T explain the process for us and why it's so different in California than, say, the Delta region. Christina, good to be back with you again. Thank you. Um, the fertilizer we apply after we've used the triplanes to kind of smooth out the ground, and we do two applications of fertilizer. One, uh, we inject the fertilizer about three inches deep into the ground. Uh, we use sort of a, something that looks like those chisels that you just saw, but they have little injectors behind the teeth. That gets the fertilizer deep down into the ground three inches, and then we roll fertilizer on top of the ground. And what that does, that, that rolling of the fertilizer on top of the ground, it creates actually a nice seed bed because the roller has grooves, but it also gives the rice seed once it's been uh, flown on uh, a nice boost once it hits the ground. And then once the roots start growing about three inches deep, then it hits that, uh, that fertilizer that we injected three inches down, giving it a further boost as it's a young rice riceling. And that's that's the strategy with that. Wow, I think a lot of Americans don't realize how much goes into growing rice in California. What happens once the ground is prepared? What's the next step? Once we apply those two fertilizers, uh, we then flood the ground as quick as possible. We would try to flood a 150-acre field about two inches deep within eight days. And that's to trap in that nitrogen that we just applied. But also, once we apply fertilizer and water, those weeds and, and insects and pests, they have a head start on that rice. So we want to, to fly the rice on as quick as possible, basically within eight days after we start that water. So we can give the rice seed a, a, a fighting chance against weeds and, and pests. Now, what could get in the way of those eight days? Could weather, for example, interrupt your plans if you have weather within that window? Um, not not particularly luckily now at that point we're kind of in the clear you know if it's windy that may affect actually flying the seed on um, you don't want heavy winds blowing the seed everywhere as, as, as it's coming out of the crop duster uh, so that the wind is basically the one thing that that could uh, kind of difficult make things difficult Huh. Well, you know, you start to see those cumulonimbus clouds build up over the mountains there. And wind definitely is a factor this time of year in Northern California. You're in Gridley, the rural area there, for those viewers who aren't aware of that just yet. What's on the agenda for today for you in Gridley, California? Well, as you can see behind me, this is the same field uh, that I was standing in front of last Friday we spoke. So you may recognize it. For the viewers that didn't tune in last week, what it looked like was a, a smooth plain and it had weeds growing on it. And so what we've done right now is chiseled it already once. And that's why you see the ground now broken up behind me. So that's what we're going to be doing on the rice fields. We're going to continue breaking up the ground, opening it up. It's still, unfortunately, a little bit muddy because of these late rains we had in April. However, by chiseling and opening it up that reveal that exposes it to the wind uh, and the air and that will help dry it out uh, that much sooner. So that's what we're going to be doing today, Christina. Wow, really love the way you explain things so simply for us. Very, very important information. Consumers want to know where their food comes from, how it's grown, and you're really facilitating that for us. Host of Rice Farming TV, Matt Sligar, thanks so much for joining us today. 
Thank you. Again, Matt will join us every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern for weekly rice farming TV updates right here on your Market Day Report. Also, you can search YouTube for some of his videos. And like I said, really great questions from Miss Christina Loren there, the RFTV news anchor. I'm really enjoying this partnership. It's really fleshing out a lot of great information about rice production here in California. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So leave a comment, like, share, the usual. Thanks for watching and please support RFD TV by saying what's up to them and Rice Farming TV by visiting my eShop. Have a great day, guys.